I'm Joe Stevenson, and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect to your TC3G for the first time and how to use the VDS software to configure the network settings for the device. This will include Wi-Fi, Ethernet, and GSM. I want to start by looking at the VDS Getting Started Guide. The first section talks about connecting and configuring your VDS application for the first time. It tells you that when you receive a new device, the TC3G is loaded with VDS software and it's configured for Wi-Fi connection via access point. This means that the TC3G is generating its own Wi-Fi network and we'll need to connect to that to begin working with VDS. To do that, we'll have to enable the wireless adapter on our computer or mobile device that we're using, and then we're going to have to find the network that the TC3 is generating. The name of the network that you'll be connecting to is the device name, in this case TC3G, and then a dash, and then the serial number of the device. The password is Darth underscore Vader. Once you've connected to the device, you'll use the static IP address listed here to connect to the VDS website. Once you've used your web browser to connect to the VDS website, click the system link to view the network configuration. Let's look at the Wi-Fi tab. You can see that access point is enabled by default, and here's the static IP address that we use to connect to the website. Here is the network name and the password that we uh, use to connect our computer to the device. These are editable fields, so you can change these to anything that you need. Now notice that there's a client option. This is a setting that will allow the TC3 to connect to an existing network. To enable client mode, click the box on the left. You'll see the current IP address of the device, and then there are fields for the network name and password of the network you want to connect to. Now once you set these two parameters for the network that you're going to connect to, click Set Values to save those changes. You may not get a save confirmation at this point because the settings have already changed and you're no longer connected to this network. What this means is that right now we don't know the IP address that is given to the TC3G because it is dynamically generated at this point. So we have to connect directly to the device through RS-232 in order to ask it what its IP address is. So I'm going to use a program PuTTY and I'm going to connect to the serial bus with a speed of 115200. And if it asks you to log in, the password is ROOT. Type the command IF config, and you'll see a WLAN0 entry here. The line that says INET address will tell you what the, the uh, dynamic IP for this device has been set to. Ours is 192.168.22.6. So I'm now going to use this IP address to connect to the TC3G since it's on my local network now. Okay, so I've used that new IP address to connect to the VDS software. And in the Wi-Fi tab, you can see that IP address reflected in the settings for uh, client mode. Now let's look at the Ethernet tab. And you'll see that there are two settings here as well. The DHCP setting will generate an IP address and other network parameters so that your device can automatically connect to your Ethernet network. The static setting is available in case you want to configure your own specific settings. The GSM tab is for network communication via a SIM card. If the device has detected a SIM card, the information for that card will be listed here in this table. If any of this information is incorrect, you can use a custom configuration here by clicking Edit and entering your own information. Once that's saved, the custom settings that you've entered will show up here. If you'd like to remove those settings, simply click Delete. You can activate or deactivate your GSM network by clicking these on or off buttons. You can also view your GSM connection status here to the right. Don't forget to save your settings by clicking the Set Values button. Keep in mind that if you have Wi-Fi connected for client mode and you have uh, GSM turned on, if you're in a Wi-Fi network area that the device recognizes, it will connect to Wi-Fi and disconnect from GSM until you're out of range for that Wi-Fi network. Lastly, 
The Y Network D tab is available if you're using GSM or if you're using Wi Fi in client mode. When the ping option is set, you can use this location entry, which is a website address, preferably vdsremote.com, to have the TC3 determine if it has an active connection. Right now, it is able to connect to vdsremote.com, so it's showing that its current network connection is WLAN and its status is on. You can also choose File if you'd like to connect to a specific location at that URL, something like index.html. Don't forget to set your values when you change any of these settings. I hope this video has helped you. Please feel free to view our other videos for helpful information on our products and services. Thanks for watching.